Charlie Kirk is very concerned about the fact that um, this is the gayest generation. Millennials allegedly happen to be the gayest generation. Now, is there any accuracy to that? You're gonna have to wait and see. First, let's hear from the brilliant Charlie Kirk. Yeah. The country, being an American, 15% of millennials say they are proud to be an American. 15% say they are proud to be an American. As I mentioned, one third of millennials describe themselves as being LGBTQ, 39%, 39%. It's three times the proportion identified among the combined older adults in the generation. This is the gayest generation in American history. And that's not a slur, by the way, it's not a slander, it's just the way it is. Someone's gonna say, oh, that's, that's a pejorative. They're the gayest generation in American history. It's what the study says. Well, I mean, look, um, LGBTQ does have a lot of letters in it. It's a lot of different types of people with different types of identities. So, I mean, but it's not like something happened with millennials. Like all of a sudden people decided to identify in one way or the other because it became more acceptable. Maybe. Society has always been the way it is in terms of their, in terms of like sexual orientation and identity. But now with more tolerance, people feel more comfortable coming out. But look, that argument is irrelevant right now because I think it's important to focus on what study or what survey Charlie Kirk is referencing here. He didn't, he gets specific and he loves to talk about, you know, the credibility of studies and the methodology and like what's really accurate here. Um, so it's weird that he omitted the fact that this was a survey done by the fundamentalist Arizona Christian University. Huh? I'm sure there was no bias there. No. I'm sure this was, a me, you know, the methodology was sound. I'm, I'm positive. Uh, I'm being sarcastic, but nonetheless, um, the uh, the study also stated this, which I thought was uh, interesting. God determined our sexual identity from before the time we were conceived by our parents. In fact, as creatures designed by God for purposes, he ordained before time, we have no authority, much less competence to make that choice. So I actually respect that because if you're born gay, you're born gay. Like for a long time, conservatives tended to think that people like just decide to have, like it's a lifestyle choice and that's not the case. But I think the wording used there is relevant to, to speak to the lack of credibility of the survey itself. Um, but even if 39% of millennials identified as part of the LGBTQ community, who cares? So what? Yeah, well, so th that's where he betrays himself, which I'll get to in a second. But first of all, I guess now life does not start at conception, it starts before time. So now women, we have to control your bodies 24 seven, cuz God decided who you were gonna be before you even conceived. Mm. So mm. that's a new wrinkle, we'll see if they ever get to that. And by the way, they do this fundamentalist Christian talking points. And then it's partly a trick to try to get progressives to attack fundamentalist Christians for their ridiculous interpretation of the Bible so that they could pretend that you're attacking all Christians or all religion, right? So that's part of the trick here. Now, the most important part of this. So he says, um, no, it's not pejorative. I mean, it's just the gayest, gayest, gayest uh, generation. But I'm not saying it in a negative way, really, because right before that, you said 15% of millennials are proud of the country. Now, you were clearly upset about that. That's clearly negative. There's no, we don't know where he got that number from, by the way. That was yeah. not part of the survey. It, but it's not at all important. No, no, that's a, look, I don't eat, actually, these, those numbers sound right to me. I, I don't have a bone to pick with the numbers. So, but he says 15% are, but he hates it that only 15% of the millennials are proud of America. Then he goes, and of course, they're the gayest generation. Oh, no slur, no slur. I mean, uh, these millennials suck, right? And now, of course, they're gay. I knew it. No, no slur, no slur, right? Was that in a positive context where you're like, hey, only 15% of millennials love America and they're the gayest generation? Way to go. Is that how it sounded? Because it didn't sound like that. It sounded like it was super negative the way you were saying it, right? And then the second part of it is also interesting. Now, We've been telling you all along that millennials are incredibly progressive, overwhelmingly progressive. Just like the guy on the motorcycle texting in the video. Yeah, I know, <laughs> these, these videos are hilarious. Anyway, 
so what Charlie Kirk told you, no, no, actually, the young are right wing. They're very right wing. Uh, and they, they hate cancel culture and they're macho men who take ivermectin, okay? Um, well, what happened? You just read the number. It turns out millennials are overwhelmingly progressive. They're concerned that the country has a checkered history and that because they're rational human beings and they wanna teach both the positive and the negative, right? And so, oh wait, Charlie, wasn't it your job to do propaganda to the young? That's the whole point of your organization. You raise what around 43 million a year from really wealthy Republicans and conservatives. And you tell them, I'm gonna brainwash the kids into being right wing. Well, looks like you suck at your job. It looks yeah. like they're wasting that $40 million a year. And you just admitted it yourself. After all of your hard work at Turning Point USA, ain't nobody turned. Yeah, look, I, I just wanna say one thing in regard to the um, scare tactics related to whether or not people love the country or are proud of the country, right? So it's very possible to love something or someone, but not necessarily feel proud toward that person or that thing, especially when that person or that thing is disappointing you, right? So I love this country. I want this country to do better. But it's really hard for me as an American to look at the terrible conditions my fellow Americans are living in, the struggles that my fellow Americans are dealing with, while this country has been taken over by corporate interests. I am not proud of that. I don't look at that and say, I love this, I'm proud. No, I look at that, especially when I see my fellow Americans living on the streets, dying in squalor on the streets, while corporations pay nothing in taxes and get away with everything that they get away with. Price gouging Americans on pharmaceutical drugs and what have you. So I don't know, Charlie, are you proud of that? Does that make you feel proud? I don't feel proud. I love the country, I know what this country is capable of. But what I'm seeing right now in a whole host of political issues is embarrassing, not proud of it. I want the country to do better. But Charlie Kirk is an enabler. He likes to enable failure. That is what he's paid to do. Yeah. I would argue that that's way less patriotic. 100% and last thing is he says America is now, the younger generation is three times more gay than the older generation of Americans. I got news for you, Charlie, they aren't. Uh, the older generation is three times more closeted. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.